everyone. I'm going to be doing uh, the Random Talk Sunday for today because I am not going to be here this Sunday. So without further ado, let me discuss Mother's Day, which is happening actually this Sunday. Um, it seems like Mother's Day is one of those holidays that a lot of people seem to celebrate, at least in Western culture. Um, you know, it's, it's also, you know, one of those holidays where, you know, it's... It, it's it's one of those holidays that honors like a family member so to speak and you know we have father's day too uh which i hope to talk about with in the future uh but uh mother's day has sort of a very interesting and kind of um bizarre origin to, uh, to say the least um and uh i thought it'd be cool to sort of discuss that today and kind of give you my thoughts as to how I feel about the holiday in particular. Now, some people say that Mother's Day, in, in particular, its origins are not necessarily known. I mean, uh, the the way the official holiday works, I will explain later on. But they say that that it has some pagan influence. Um, for example, the Romans and Greeks, they did have goddesses. They did an emphasize the, you know, importance of fertility and, you know, motherhood and things like that. Um, as well as, I think, with uh, with an ancient e Egyptian culture, there was uh, emphasis, there was an emphasis on the goddess and of uh, giving birth and, uh, you know, uh, and on, you know, feminine beauty and things like that. So, again, Mother's Day was that kind of uh, celebration for uh, pagan traditions, but they didn't really have, um, they, they just kind of um, honored it for the sake of religious purposes, more so than just for the average, you know, mom or average person that is a mom. So, um that's really where those kinds of uh, traditions stem from. They stem from some kind of religious idea or concept. Uh, of they, they stem from the concept of motherhood and of fertility and, again, forming of the goddess, rather than on, you know, the, the average people who are actually moms and, you know. So, it, so there is this kind of... Um, or origin that doesn't really resemble what we would consider Mother's Day today, or uh, where it's real true, uh, where the true holiday came from, but its influences are sort of there, uh, because they did try to emphasize the importance of motherhood uh, throughout uh, those cultures. Um, now, some say that Within the United States, Mother's Day sort of started, uh, or the, the trend of Mother's Day kind of started with uh, Mother Friendship Day. Um, and this was a gathering to where mothers would mourn over those who they've lost uh, within the Civil War. Uh, so that's really when this particular uh, event took place. And it also was you know, a, a time later on within the later 1800s when we saw sort of mothers coming together and, you know, uh, talking about, you know, different issues going on like infant mortality and, you know, solving uh, political problems by emphasizing, you know, peace, uh, in particular after the, the Civil War um, within the United States. So, there was this sense of, you know, sort of women coming together as kind of like a group, um, and, you know, trying to kind of like solve problems and things like that. So it was kind of like early day kind of activism or early day, uh, you know, volunteering, so to speak. Um, and, and, uh, out of that, uh, once we get into the earlier 1900s, um, we get basically the founder of the what is technically considered the official Mother's Day holiday. 
And her name was Anna Jarvis. Um, and she originally um, wanted Mother's Day as a means to sell, uh, as a means to honor mothers. Uh, in particular, she uh, lost her mother. Um, and, uh, and sort of really celebrated the first Mother's Day as a means to celebrate her and I guess what she, uh, contributed as a mother to her. And she eventually wanted to make it a national holiday. And then finally it became a national holiday under the signage of Woodrow Wilson that president and once it became and they again made it that it's the second Sunday of every every year so every uh, of May so every every May on the second Sunday is Mother's Day uh, but uh, the interesting thing and this is where the bizarreness comes in is that um, what ultimately happened as a result of Mother's Day is people sort of started, again, to kind of, you know, give gifts to their mother. And it sort of stemmed from the founder. I mean, she she did kind of celebrate uh, her mom through her favorite flowers. Um, and a lot of people, I think, saw the value in this and providing flowers to a mother for showing sort of thanks and everything. And so a lot of people started to do that, to give flowers on Mother's Day. And then ultimately greeting cards came in where people would buy greeting cards. Uh, and this is where we usually have our, you know, greeting cards of today, where we would give them to our mother. The problem was is that Anna Jarvis didn't like this because she thought it was consumer or it was it, or the holiday itself was becoming too consumeristic which I kind of don't understand because on the one hand she did sort of commemorate her mother by having flowers sort of be a symbol for the holiday um, and I guess she didn't like the idea that I guess the cards were not written because um, you know when you buy greeting cards there's already something written in it um, which Again, is that really so damaging to society <laughs> that people go and buy greeting cards? And even then, they can always write something in within the greeting card, too. Um, you know, and it's, again, it's probably just a lot more convenient for people to buy nicely already made greeting cards than going through all of the crazy effort into putting it all together for one and and you know since you know money was a little bit more was becoming a little bit more uh, accessible for people you know they they still did their work and they still did the effort of you know working to earn the money so they could buy those things for mother's day so on the one hand i feel it's very i just find it so bizarre because Literally, once it started to become so huge and successful, she was like, nope, I want to abolish the holiday now because it's too consumeristic. And apparently she was, uh, uh, I think they, they took her away at one point because, like, people were lining up to go get flowers. And then she was, like, all mad just because they were going to go get flowers for Mother's Day. Um... And she was kind of arrested as disturbing of the peace. Um, so yeah, she fought tooth and nail to get rid of the holiday, but she failed to do that. Um, and she sort of died not even being a mom, actually. Uh, she never had any kids. So <laughs> it's just very strange. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, how, how do you expect a national holiday to not have some consumerism surrounding it? I don't know. Maybe she thought that it was, uh, that somehow, uh, it would maintain its, you know, traditional holiness somehow. Beats me. But, uh, but that's really where, uh, ultimately Mother's Day came from. Um, 
And as far as to my thoughts on it, I mean, I do like Mother's Day. Um, however, I think we do emphasize Father's Day a whole lot less than we, than we emphasize Mother's Day. Um, because with Mother's Day, they treat it as this whole big thing. And then with Father's Day, it's just kind of like, eh, you know, there, there's not a whole lot of, uh, um, there's just not, not a whole lot of hype uh, surrounding the holiday as much, I feel. Um, whereas, you know, on Facebook, I, I see every year people posting things about their mom and things like that. Not so much with the father. Um, <laughs> so, uh, on the one hand, it might be due to the fact of Mother's Day's origins. Um, again, I would have to do research on Father's Day, which I eventually will do, hopefully, for another video where I will discuss Father's Day and it's kind of, and where it came from. Um, that, but that might be a, a reason, too, for, for, you know, just the fact that it just got so much hype and it did sort of emphasize these sort of, um, uh, these sort of concepts of giving flowers or giving something specific, you know, like greeting cards and things like that. Um, that probably was, you know, uh, uh, a means to which in, in which it was easier for people to understand, oh, okay, this is Mother's Day. Um, and, uh, I think, you know, it's, it's nice to, to, I, I think, have this kind of a holiday where we think about, you know, where we came from and, and, uh, celebrate the person in our lives who's, you know, should be there for us and who really loves and appreciates us. And moms do that as well as fathers. And that's why, hence, we have Father's Day. So, <laughs> uh, but I, I guess they just wanted to separate them out because there is sort of a distinction, um, between what a mother does and what a father provides, uh, to the family. <laughs> Uh, so that's really, uh, I think, why um, it is one of those uh, well-recognized holidays. And, you know, I and all of the mothers of the world, may you all have a happy, happy Mother's Day. And uh, to all the fathers of the world, may you have a happy, happy Father's Day when that comes for you. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say about this uh particular holiday it's it has its purpose um that is do people really go so overboard with it i don't think so i mean it's it's not like christmas or or um or halloween where you know there's a there's it we treat it as more of a bigger thing um i think mother's day is just simple you know you just give your mom a card you know you give your mom flowers you know it's it's not like this big huge thing um, but as far as the parent holidays are concerned, I feel like Mother's Day does get a little bit more attention. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say about this holiday. If there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Happy Mother's Day.